Hello everyone! Thank you for checking our channel and thank you for clicking in this video. For today's video, our topic is about identifying similar and dissimilar fraction. In this video, you will learn and identify what are similar and dissimilar fractions. By the way, the lesson about fraction ay iniintroduce dun sa mga bata na nasa second grade o yung nasa grade 2 level at pinag-aaralan naman sa buong elementary, high school, and even up to college. Kaya napakahalagang matutunan natin ang fraction. So, pero kailangan natin magsimula sa basic. So, let us have identifying similar and dissimilar fraction first. So now let's start. So pagka sinasabing like or similar fractions, halimbawa we have one fifth. We also have two fifth and three fifth. Anong napamansin nyo? Pare-pareho ang kanilang mga denominator which is five. Okay, si one fifth, merong five na number na nasa baba or yung denominator. Si two fifth, five naman ang denominator and three fifth is also 5. So, pare-pareho ang kanilang denominator or yung number na nasa baba. So, it means that all of these fractions has 5 five equal parts. Kaya sila naging similar or like fraction. So, again, sila ay similar or like fraction dahil pare-pareho ang kanilang mga denominator or yung number na nasa Ilalim. Kaya sila tinatawag na similar or like fraction. Pare-pareho ang pagkakahati sa kanila. Okay? So, let us have another example. Okay, let us have 3, 10, 5, 10, and 7, 10. So, sa makikita natin, pare-pareho yung number na nasa ilalim o yung kanilang mga denominator. So, ibig sabihin si 3, 10, si 5, 10, and 7, 10 has 10 equal parts. Kaya sila naging, or kaya sila tinatawag na like or similar fractions. So, again, similar and like fractions are those fractions that are having the same denominator. Pare-pareho ang kanilang mga denominator o yung number na nasa baba. So, let us now proceed to our next example. So, we have 4, 8, 2, 4, and 1 half. So, anong napapansin nyo? Ang 4, 8, 2, 4, and 1 half ay magkakaiba ang kanilang mga denominator. So, we have 8 na denominator sa 4, 8. Meron din tayong 4 sa 2, 4, and 2, 4, 1 half. So, magkakaiba yung kanilang mga denominator o yung number na nasa baba. Ito yung tinatawag na Dissimilar fraction. So, from the word itself na unlike or not like or dissimilar or not similar, hindi pare-pareho ang kanilang mga denominator. At magkakaiba yung number na nasa baba. Kaya sila tinatawag na dissimilar or unlike fractions. So, ibig sabihin, magkakaiba ang pagkakahati sa kanila. Ang 4, 8 ay hinati sa 8, ang 2, 4 ay hinati sa 4, and ang 1 half ay hinati sa 2. Kaya sila, magkakaiba ang denominator. Now, let us have another example. So, we have 2 third, 4 fifth, and 6 7. So, sa makikita natin, hindi pare-pareho yung number na nasa baba or yung kanilang mga denominator. So, we have denominator 3 sa 2 third. We also have 5 sa 4 fifth and 7 naman sa 6 seven. 
So, ibig sabihin, hindi pantay ang pagkakahati sa kanila. Kaya sila hindi pari-pariho ang nagiging denominator. Kaya sila tinatawag na dissimilar or unlike fractions. So, ano nga ba ang unlike or dissimilar fractions? Ang unlike or dissimilar fractions are those fractions that are having different denominators. Or, yung number na nasa baba. Ngayon naman, let us try to answer and activity. Okay, so we have here, sasagutan natin. Isusulat natin yung S kapag yung fractions ay similar or pare-pareho. And isusulat namin natin yung D kapag ang fractions ay dissimilar or hindi pare-pareho ang denominator. So now let us start. For number 1, we have 1 half, 3 fourth, and 4 eighth. Okay, so 1 half, meron tayong 2 denominator. And sa 3 fourth, meron din tayong 4 na denominator. 4 eighth, meron tayong 8 na denominator. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pare-pareho ang kanilang mga denominator. Kaya sila naging dissimilar fractions. Okay, for number 2, we have 3, 9, and 5, 10. So, sa 3, 9, meron tayong 9 na denominator. Sa 5, 10 naman, meron tayong 10. So, ang 9 at 10 ay hindi pare-pareho. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pantay ang pagkakahati sa kanila. So, kaya sila naging dissimilar fractions. Now, for number 3, we have 4, 8, and 2, 10. So, we have 8 na denominator sa 4, 8, and we also have 8 naman sa 2, 8. So, pari-pariho ang kanilang mga denominator. So, ibig sabihin, pantay-pantay ang pagkakahati sa kanila. So, sila ay, o ito ay, similar fractions. Okay, for number 4, we have 6, 12, and 4, 12. So, again, pare-pareho ang number na nasa baba or yung denominator. So, they are similar fractions. Now, for number 5, we have 2, 4, and 2, 10. So, si 4 and, and 10 ay hindi pareho. So, hindi pantay ang pagkakahati sa kanila. So, ibig sabihin... The answer is D or dissimilar fractions. So now let us have a recap. So again, similar fractions are those fractions that are having the same denominator. Pare-pareho yung number na nasa baba. And dissimilar fractions naman are those fractions that are having different denominators. Hindi pare-pareho yung number na nasa baba. So that's all for today. So sana may natutunan kayo sa video natin ngayon. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. This is Ate Risa.